Hi, I'm Dr. Mimi Guarneri, President of the Academy of Integrative Health and Medicine and Medical Director of Guarneri Integrative Health at Pacific Pearl La Jolla in beautiful downtown La Jolla. Pacific Pearl is a special place where we blend the best of all global healing traditions to create a program toward optimal health for all of our patients. I'm so happy today to have with me Anne Michelle Casco. Anne Michelle is a traditional Chinese medicine physician. She is an expert in acupuncture, and I have been using acupuncture in my patients since it helped me enormously over 20 years ago. Hi, Anne Michelle. Hi. You know, a lot of people have uh, misconfusion, uh, a lot of confusion about acupuncture, mm -hmm. right? That they think they're going to get covered in needles, that it's going to be painful. Uh, why don't you describe a little bit about acupuncture in, in the context of traditional Chinese medicine? Mm, so Chinese medicine is, uh, acupuncture is just a part of Chinese medicine. So we have herbology, we have the theory of Chinese medicine, the strategies of how we um, assess a patient. And acupuncture is the actual treatment of the needles, placing very, very fine needles into very specific points in order to achieve harmony and balance within the body. So my understanding mm -hmm. is uh, I've used acupuncture so many times when I've had a muscle spasm or when I had pneumonia recently, I found it so helpful for my breathing. Mm -hmm. I refer my patients for asthma. Uh, so these are all conditions, right? Mm -hmm. Acute or chronic. Mm -hmm. uh, but my understanding is we can also use acupuncture to uh, prevent problems. Absolutely. Um, Acupuncture is very good to reduce stress, increase circulation, promote healing, uh, build the immune system. We help with relieving pain from uh, stimulating the body to release its natural endorphins. Mm -hmm. uh, we work on many different areas, such as cardiological, respiratory, musculoskeletal, neurological. Yes, it's very interesting in the cardiology literature right now, uh, studies showing that acupuncture actually lowers blood pressure. Yes. Uh, and that it's effective at that. Mm -hmm. And I know from my patients that when they come out of an acupuncture treatment, they are definitely in a deep state of relaxation. Yes. And uh, we know that the body heals when we are in a relaxed state. Right, our stress hormones are down. Right, so we work with lowering the cortisol, uh, reducing stress, and making the body unfold on the table, as I was saying. So, that, so the person may come in with a back pain, and they come in and they talk about their condition, and I spend about an hour and a half with the client when they first come on to see me. And I may be treating their back, but as they come on the table, they unfold, and other things present themselves. They might have problems with sleep or they might have other imbalances. And as you begin to treat, you treat what we call the branch. We treat the actual low back pain, but then we also will help, say, nourish the kidneys because the kidneys govern the back. So it's, very, it's, a, it's awesome to be able to provide this type of healing to people. I remember when I had a frozen shoulder years mm -hmm. ago, mm -hmm. and um, this was uh, very much in my early career, mm -hmm. and I w it had a steroid injection that was unsuccessful, mm -hmm. and a friend suggested that I try acupuncture, okay. and I had uh, acupressure first. Do you mm -hmm. do acupressure as well? Sure. I'm trained uh, in massage for about 20 years, and I'm trained in many different modalities, but Acupressure is the uh, touch. There's also called tui na, which is the touch and movement of, of the chi that flows in through the body through, through touch, actually. So you're stimulating the points uh, through massage. 
Well, and uh, so I, I had a um, acupressure treatment, mm -hmm. and then for your the, shoulder, right? Mm -hmm. And then I was told to come back the next day, and the needles were placed, mm -hmm. and uh, I had the needles placed, and. I went on to have uh, what we now, I've now learned is called a healing crisis, where I felt like I had a lot of pain in my shoulder, mm -hmm. and then in 24 hours, my frozen shoulder was gone. I could lift my arm right. and no problem. Is that common, this healing crisis? Um, yes, you have people, uh, I had someone come in today who's actually post-surgical for his shoulder. He had a shoulder replacement two months ago. He has a lot of stiffness and pain. And I went in to work the back and the front of the body because it actually affects not only just the neurological aspect of the body, but the muscles and the tendons and so forth. And after reviewing him, we work with acupuncture to help heal. We work with um, heat and mm -hmm. massage. And some people, uh, the day after of the treatment, they actually can get sort of a pain that then becomes relief. So is That's that what, what you happened yeah, to? Yes, it was like absolutely. This pain, it was whatever um, meridians itself. were blocked or mm -hmm. just sort of opened, and I felt really great. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what else would you uh, could you tell us about acupuncture? I mean, it would seem to me that um, if someone's never had acupuncture before, mm -hmm. uh, they should really think about it uh, for prevention, for pain, for mm -hmm. relaxation. I know it's great for asthma. I send right. my patients with tennis elbow. Exactly. I send my patients with uh, fasciitis, mm -hmm. you know, like Achilles tendon pain. Mm -hmm. Um, Lumbar pain, knee pain, yeah. back pain, neck pain, um, digestive issues, irritable bowel, um, respiratory issues, um, asthma with uh, COPD, um, migraines, yeah. migraines. I spent many years uh, working with stroke rehab and uh, spinal cord injury and, and so forth. and. Uh, transverse myelitis, uh, Bell's palsy, many different types of things. Well, that's terrific. And I know from my own experience, uh, when the needles are placed, they really don't hurt. I mean, it's hardly anything. Right. So generally, the, uh, the needles are uh, placed within the body. They're very specific. Some areas can be a little more tender than others. But it's a very slight, it's a very, very fine needle. It's, they say it's like a hair. And uh, the needles actually are, some of them are silicone lined and they're placed into the body and you can feel a slight pricking sensation. And generally we work very well with patients' um, sensitivities and there's times where people might feel just a sli that slight pricking sensation but we can always adjust and help right. them breathe through treatments in order to uh, be the most comfortable that they can. Now, I know that you uh, do more than just put needles in people, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess anyone could be trained as an acupuncturist to do that, but I always think of you when I send my patients as a healer, mm -hmm. uh, part of it being your, your attitude and your energy and your ability to do massage and acupuncture. It seems to me like there's... Uh, a big advantage in coming in and having a treatment uh, for any of these conditions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, come, I came to uh, acupuncture with the background of a holistic health practitioner for many years, and I got to a point where I wanted to do more for patients. Uh, I practiced 20 years of meditation, and at that time, I was somewhat new to meditation, and I, I was trying to do something that's beneficial to people and make it eight hours in a day. And at that time, I wanted to do more than just massage. And I came around friends that were doing acupuncture who loved what they did. I went to the school, Pacific College of Oriental Medicine, and I resonated greatly with the type of treatments. I 
I, I love it from my heart, and I, I work with di several different ways to heal, from intuition to working with the acupuncture, massage, uh, infrared heat, the biomat tables, um, work with um, ma trying to make the person feel as most comfortable as they can so that they can relax into the treatment. And people often find that they get to the table and maybe they're a little nervous when they first arrive, but then they begin to slowly, again, unfold in the table, open up and relax, and then they receive the treatment deeper. And then they often tell me that not only was their back pain relieved, but that they slept the best that they have slept in many years. So we're working uh, on, the, on the level of the body, the speech, and the mind. So we're not only just working on that back pain and relieving that back pain, although that is one of our primary goals. We are working to help them to be with their loved ones, to, to be in their fullest potential and love life. And it's a true holistic approach, which is really the theme of everything that happens here mm -hmm. at Guarneri Integrative Health, at Pacific Pearl, uh, treating the whole person, mm -hmm. uh, using all of the wisdom we can find from the global healing traditions, mm -hmm. uh, and in your case, coming out of the tradition of traditional Chinese medicine. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here and a pleasure to serve. Thank you. Yeah.